Well, hi everyone. I'm local five chief meteorologist Brad Edwards, and we are watching the skies for severe weather on Friday here in Des Moines. It's not the highest risk. It'll be east of us where most of the severe weather is going to be, but it could develop in central Iowa, and that includes tornadoes, wind and maybe hail. The hail is more likely though in eastern Iowa, but boy, we could have some severe weather right here in central Iowa. Let's break it down for you. First of all, we got a category four here, so that's a very, very, uh, very important scenario here in eastern Iowa, very dangerous scenario. And just to the east of us, we're basically kind of cut right between a two and a three here, and I think it's going to be developing in our area, then moving off to the northeast very quickly. But certainly eastern Iowa has the best chance. That is for severe weather. Let's get specific about tornado threat, and we're on a high level for tornado threat here in eastern Iowa, Cedar Rapids, Iowa City, Davenport, even Dubuque, and then eastern part of our viewing area, including the eastern half of the metro, we're in a medium risk for tornadoes. So if something does develop, we could see tornadoes right here in central Iowa. But again, that's where they probably will begin. And also the wind outlook is pretty high. We got another high risk of wind in eastern Iowa as well. So I'm going to show you a couple different models here as we go through the forecast. We'll have a chance of showers and thunderstorms tonight around midnight, 1 a.m. Nothing severe here. Those blow on through. And then we'll have a quiet day tomorrow, except it's going to be warm and windy out there. Thunderstorms could be possible perhaps by 11 a.m. if this little area develops early, but that's not the main event. The main event will develop uh, 2 or 3 o'clock with thunderstorms rapidly developing here. So look at these severe storms just exploding really within an hour or so they become uh, mature thunderstorms with possibly severe weather. And that's one scenario here as that moves off to the east very quickly. The cold front moves through and temperatures drop. So we're in the 70s during the afternoon and then it gets colder. Let's talk about the wind out there and it is going to be very windy through the night. Winds gusting 25 to 35 miles per hour. It gets stronger though tomorrow evening and afternoon as that front comes through over 40 miles per hour into tomorrow night. We're talking 40, 50 miles per hour into early Saturday morning. Then the winds will calm down, but it's going to be very, very windy just around this strong area of low pressure. Our high temperatures for Friday looking at 75 degrees in Des Moines, maybe 74 in Ames. Big cool down on Saturday, upper 40s to near 50 degrees. Sunday we bounce back closer to 70 degrees or upper 60. So a roller coaster rides on the way. I want to show you another model here as we look at tonight. It's going to be uh, showers and thunderstorms possible through tomorrow morning early. Then it kind of dries out. We get some clearing going on and you can see these thunderstorms again developing. These are closer to central Iowa around one o'clock in the afternoon and then there could be more developing by two or three o'clock as the cold front comes through. So there's different waves of energy coming through that could set up some thunderstorms. One is a dry line coming through. Another one is the cold front, but both could produce some big storms. And then on the back side of this, we're going to see cold winds. And yes, those are snow showers with no accumulation here in central Iowa expected. Thunder showers tonight, nothing severe, low near 58 degrees. That's warmer than most of our high temperatures have been the whole month of March. Friday, mainly storms in afternoon and eastern Iowa, high of 75 degrees, very warm and windy. Here's your 10 day forecast sponsored by Holt Plumbing and Heating. Near 70 on Sunday, looks like a great day there to be outdoors. Another warm day on Tuesday, upper 70s, a chance of more thunderstorms there, probably toward the evening hours, followed by another cool down.